This is a higher GCSE question using the trigonome trigonometry of non right angle triangles. So, could be the sine rule, could be the cosine rule, could be the area rule. Looking at the triangle, then we're asked to find the length of AC. And AC on the triangle is this one here. And that's we can label it with small letter B because it's opposite angle B. We can also label the other side small letter C and small letter A just to help us. Now we've got to find the length of AC. That's this side here. But we might have to use some other information from the question first. For example, the fact that the triangle is 50 centimeters squared with area. Now, we know that the area rule is that the area is equal to half the product of two of the sides multiplied by the sine of the angle between them. So one we thing we could write then is that the area is equal to half of AC multiplied by the sine of angle B. And that would enable us to find the length of side C. And if we could find the length of side C, then we could use the cosine rule to find the length of side B. So all of this information is, to, uh, is put into the formula. That's equal to a half multiplied by 12.3 multiplied by C. We don't know. That's what we're trying to find. Multiplied by the sine of angle 73. Now that would mean then that in here I could rearrange my formula. I'm change my half to 0.5 times 12.3 times the sine of 73. So this is getting C on its own by dividing by each of the other terms multiplied by C. And then that would give me that C is equal to 8.50155. In fact, this is a, a decimal that goes on, and I'm not going to round at this point. I'm just going to leave that um, in its full form. Now the next thing to do is to calculate the length of side B and this is the cosine rule because we've got the other two sides and the angle between them. And so B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus, and I like to put this in brackets, 2AC cos B. So when you write out the cosine rule, the angle and the subject, so B squared here, should be uh, the same letter as the angle that you're using in there. Now that would give me then that b squared was equal to 12.3 squared plus, now I've still got the 8.5015 on my calculator, so I'm going to use the answer button. If you haven't used it before, it's a good idea to use it because you must not round that 8.50155. So 12.3 squared plus answer squared minus 2 times 12.3 multiplied by the answer button again. Um, uh, and then multiplied by the cosine of 73. It's a good idea to put this in brackets, this final term because sometimes the cosine of the angle will be negative. In this case, it's not, but it could well be. Then b squared is equal to 162, my calculator is giving me, 0.4203. Uh, again, this is a decimal, which I'm not going to round at this point because I now need to square root that answer on my calculator. And then I must make sure that I use the correct rounding to three significant figures. This will be 12.7, uh, and that's in centimetres, and I've rounded it to three significant figures.